I just feel like this is a part of Toronto history. The signs are so iconic. I mean, if, you've, if you're from Toronto, if you live in Toronto, if you see that lettering, you know that it's Honest Ed's, or at least it was inspired by it. So it would be, I came here today to just get a piece of Toronto history before it's too late. Honest Ed's has a warm place in my heart. Uh, my grandparents moved here, like immigrated from Italy, and um, when they moved here, a lot of my family would come to Honest Ed's and buy things um, for the house and whatnot. And that was a tradition that my parents carried over with me, and then when I eventually moved uh, downtown Toronto um, for the first time, I would also come to Honest Ed's. And, like, uh, I, don't know, I just wanted a piece of Toronto history, weird, kitschy history. So I don't know what better than something like that. <laughs> like where, where it sits in, in the city, and it's, it's such a unique building. You can kind of see it from blocks away, and it's, I don't know, it's so bizarre, and you can get lost inside. It's, it's distinctly Toronto to me, so yeah, I want a piece of it before it's gone. Oh, I think it's, a, it's an icon. I mean, he's been for, here forever, and the stars, and, the, and just bringing um, affordable stuff, you know, for everybody. Uh, I remember when I first moved uh, to the city by myself for school and Honest Ed's was a place where I was able to go to get cheap housewares and, and other things that I needed when I was a bit strapped for cash. Um, and so coming back here to grab a sign is kind of nostalgic. Um, but also, like I said, I think um, this is a Toronto institution and I'm going to be really sad to see it go, as well as I'm sure the whole city will.